made. I also want to commend Representative Case for bringing a very important issue that occurred in his district to our um, attention, which was certainly supported as it moved forward in the Judiciary Committee, and there were some modifications where, again, we did have to make sure that those public officials who are serving the communities are absolutely held accountable for any type of mismanagement or, quite frankly, even beyond mismanagement, but the actual theft of funds are held accountable. And this will accomplish that, not only public officials, but state or municipal employees. These people, again, do have the trust of the community and the residents, and it's very devastating when they take advantage of that trust because that will lead to financial consequences for the borough, which then, the borough, or the city or the municipality that then is then laid on the backs of the citizens. As some people know, uh, I come from one of the towns that I um, represent. Um, approximately maybe six months ago, our finance director was um, um, put away, put in jail. Um, he was embezzled over more than $2.3 million dollars. Um, in a short period of time. They could only go back five years. He worked for the town for over 31 years. It put our small town of 11,000 people in dire straits. Um, I worked with the good representatives and testified in front of them to try to get something started here. So we uh, work with municipal employees um, to try to stay out of the taxpayers' dollars and let them do the work of the community. So once again, I rise in, in high support of this amendment, and I thank all of those on the Judiciary Committee and others that have worked on it. Thank you, Madam Chair.